Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Forutech. So under 15 vanilla ice cream is on the way for all the eligible devices because Google already made available the new under 15 beta 2 QPR1 for pixel devices. But if you are using the unlocked bootloader device, you can test the under 15 on any ARM64 AB devices. Our channel always trying to do something adventurous and this time we brought you the Android 15 QPR1 Beta 2 vanilla build for any unlocked bootloader devices with the ARM64 AB. I tried this build on my OnePlus 9 RT and it's absolutely working fine. It should work for any device too without the need of root access. So today in this video we are going to discuss how you can install this on any device without the root. What is my experience with this build, like what's working, which Android 15 features are working and finally I shown what's not working in my device and what are the missing features. So if you really want to test the Android 15 on your device then watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. Let's first check out the installation of this build. To flash this, you just need to unlock the bootloader. There is no need of root access. Next requirement is that your device must be on the ARM64 AB architecture with the dynamic partition system and with the treble support. To check your device have this system architecture, use the treble check application from the Play Store. Its link is available in the video description. First connect your device with the stable Wi-Fi network. Now download and open the Suzuki application in your phone. There at the top now it's shown the Suzuki is not running. So to make it work tap on the pairing option. Next tap on the developer setting. This will redirect to the developer setting. There tap on the wireless debugging option. Next accept the prompt. Again tap on the wireless debugging. Then tap on the pair device with the pairing code. You will get the pairing code on the screen. Immediately Suzuki pop-ups notification will come in the header notification. There enter the same code and tap on the arrow button. Now go back to the Suzuki application again. Next tap on the start. You will see some commands running on the screen. Later at the top of the Suzuki app you will see Suzuki is running with the ADB 13.5. Once you guess the working Suzuki now download the full GSI file. Download and install the ZR Chur application from the Play Store. Now unzip the downloaded ROM zip file using this application at your desired location. You will get the system.image file. Next download and install the DSU Site Loader application. Open it. Give all the permission to the application. If you check the setting of the application, now it will show you the operation mode as Suzuki. To install the GSI, you need at least 40% of free storage on your device. If you not have that space, you will get the warning, but you can proceed by skipping this. You can get the maximum 20 GB of user data. Next tap on the choose image file, select the system image file, set your desired user data size and then tap on the proceed. Now installation of system image gets starts. Once done, you will get the installation finish notification. In the status bar, you will get this discard or reboot to the new installed GSI build. Tap on the restart. That's it. Your device will start to boot into the new Android 15 GSI if it is got correctly installed and working for your device. As this is the pure vanilla Google GSI, you will get this simple boot animation. Phone boots to this clean launcher with the square icon packs. Later in the video, we will show you how you can change this to any icon packs you want. Now we'll first check out the about device details of this build. Android version is 15 with this same spaceship easter egg of the Android 14. Security patch is of August 2024. Kernel version will be same like stock ROM you are using. Build number will also be same like the stock ROM on your device. Here it's same as Oxygen OS I am using. Now if you think it's a GSI then it may have bugs then answer is yes. But surprisingly, the most of the essential features like Wi-Fi, hotspot, GPS location, Bluetooth, NFC are working. Other important functions like vibration, ear proximity, microphone, ear speakers, loudspeaker, flashlight and multi-touch with the display are functional. All the sensors like accelerometer proximity, gyroscope, magnetometer are working. Camera is also working but it's a simple Google camera so you can use the advanced Gcam build. Its links are available in the video description. 
Remember as this is the GSI all the functions may or may not work for your device as I shown here. Now let's check out all the Android 15 features available in this build that you can enjoy with this ROM. First one is a partial screenshot recording. Specifically you can call this as the record one app only. If you choose this option and tap on the start button this will give you the list of all the application to choose any app that you want to record. This will record all the activities of that application irrespective of other application during this timing. Next feature is whatever text you type in the phone or in the system. You can magnify it by long pressing over the text to clearly visualize it. Next to case the new back gesture material you look along with some bouncy animation. Next standard feature and visual changes are in the settings panel where you get the rounded card like material with themed settings option. Big and rounded search bar at the top of the settings while about device section will be available in the middle of the settings panel instead of bottom like previous Android versions. Who gets the new material and the rounded shape or expanded volume panel in this build where we can switch between the Bluetooth devices and can control the media, call, ring, notification and alarm volume on the go. It was already available in the old Android 14 but now its visual aspects only got changed here. Next under the display and the color contrast setting we can able to separately change the color contrast for the icons and the buttons in the system instead of the text contrast. Under the system and the device diagnostic we get the different settings to determine your device health for the display, touch, battery and the storage status. I specifically liked the battery status which determines how is your battery health and is timing to replace the battery. So these are some amazing features of Android 15 which you can test on your device without replacing your stock ROM from the device. But you may face lots of the bugs as this one is the first initial release of this GSI. The first bug will be the safety net. It's getting failed so you can't able to use any payment and the banking application in the GSI. Next device play protect is also not certified so some application will not able to install on your device like Netflix. Next major issue is for the Bluetooth. Though the Bluetooth is working in the JS app but when I tried to connect my OnePlus bullets, connection is not getting successful. It's again and again asking for the reconnecting the device. Next issue is when you boot the device first time, stock launcher is a quick step which has only square shaped icon packs which looks very ugly but you can solve this issue by changing the launcher. Download the launcher from the play store, set it as a default launcher, then download any new icon packs, set the new icon packs in the launcher, then change the shape of the icons to the rounded shape in the launcher, that's it, you will get the new rounded shape icons in the app drawer. Next issue may face is for the status bar icon getting misarranged with the punch hole selfie camera which is cutting off the text in the status bar. Next and very disappointing bug is you will get the baseband unknown error in the setting. This may cause the SIM card will not getting detected in the JSR so you can't able to make the calls and receive the calls. Currently this issue is not solvable. So these are some major issues hope they will be get fixed in the upcoming updates. But don't worry about the bugs you can easily switch between the stock ROM and with the JSI. You just need to select the restart option from the status bar or by manually restarting the device you will boot your device into the original stock ROM. So no worry about the testing such builds on your device if you really want to see how Android 15 will look on your device. So that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, soon next time, take care, bye bye.